This is independent practice uh, 3.2. Hopefully you've had a chance to try some of these problems and you're just checking to see how you did. Okay, so we're multiplying and we need to estimate. This 9.7 is really close to 10 times 3.3, .3, closer to 3. If I get some whole numbers like that, 10 times 3, real easy to do in my head. A little estimate, about 30. Okay, 3.4, and that 0.4 tells me it's a little bit closer to 3 times 5.6. The 6 tells me to go up, so we're 3 times 6. 3 times 6, we know how to do that. That's 18. Number 3, 17.5 times 8.4. This 8.4 is pretty close to 8. I'm going to go with 8 times. Now, the 17.5, I mean, it could get boosted up to 18. But 18 times 8 doesn't help me. It's not that easy. So I'm going to bump it up to the nearest 10. And uh, it's closer to 20 than it is to 10. Now 20 times 8, I can do that. Because I know 2 times 8 is 16. And i got to add that 0. It's 160. Let's keep rolling here. 44.8. Uh, I'm going to take that to the nearest 10. It's closest to 40 times 5.1. 5, 5 is the closest, so 40 times 5 is 200. All right, 28.21. That's pretty close to 30. Estimate that. This 8.02 is really close to 8. So 8 times 3 is 24, and then I add a 0, 240. Okay, 71.92, pretty close to 70, times 2.01 is almost 2. 70 times, so that 7 times 2 is 14, and I add my 1 zero, I have 140. All right, let's look at these uh, other ones. On an average, U.S. produces 36.5 million tons of fruit each year. About how much fruit does it produce in two years times 2.25 years? So I'm going to estimate this because it says about how many. So this 36 is pretty close to 40 times 2.25. It's closer to 2 than it is to going up. So 40 times 2 is 80 million tons. Okay, so I estimated. Not the exact answer, just an estimate. Okay, let's look at this next one. Leisha is making headbands using ribbon. She would like to make 12 headbands. Each one takes 15.5 inches. She estimates she'll need about 160 inches of ri ribbon. Is this a good estimate? Well, let's find out. 12 times 15.5. Uh, we want to see how close that is uh, when we estimate it to 160. So this 12 is pretty close to 10 times 15.5. Um, That's really close to 16. Uh, 10 times 16 is 160. That is a very reasonable estimate, I would say. Okay. Let's look at 9. Hannah's hourly wage at the ice cream shop is 5.85. The table shows the number of hours she worked. She estimated her earnings to be 120. Without calculating her actual earnings, determine if her estimate is more or less than her actual earnings. Okay, so I'm looking at this. I see 3.5. I'm going to round that up to 4. This 4.25, I'm going to round that to 4. 3.75, I'm going to round that to 4. 2.5, round that to 3. 4.75, round that to 5. So I'm rounding a lot of things up. I'm saying she worked more than she actually did. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 4 more is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 5 is 20. So I'm saying she worked, I'm estimating about 20 hours. Now she didn't quite work that much because I estimated I went up. So I'm estimating higher than what she actually worked. 
Now this 585, I'm going to estimate that up to $6. 6 times 20 is the $120 she estimated. So um, she's not going to actually get $120. She went up here, and she went up on all of these. So she said she made more, and she worked more. So her estimate is more than actual. Okay. Let's see. Should we do this uh, last one? Um, yeah. Might as well. A car releases... 19.6 pounds of carbon dioxide for every one gallon of gasoline. I estimate the number of pounds of carbon dioxide released if 14.5 gallons are burned. Okay, I'm going to make this 19.6. I'm going to take that to 20. And then times the 14.5. Make that 15. Um... And then if I uh, times those together, I know that 2 times 15 is 30. And then I add my 0, and I get 300. So I'd say, eh, about 300 pounds would be burned. Okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Love to help you.